Hello friends, this is Jalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with JV. In this video, we are going to see how we can create the put API and how we can uh, update our student. So this is a part 3 of uh, ongoing series which I am creating right now uh, called Bid uh, Your First RESTful API with Node.js and Express. So if you haven't seen the first two parts, I would highly recommend you to put uh, uh, some time and see the first two parts so you will get a better idea how we have structured our API and other stuff and then come to this video don't worry about those two videos I will put uh, the link in the description so in this video as I told you like we are going to use update and we are going to update our student existing student so without wasting time like let's directly jump into the Visual studio code and uh, we are going to start from where we left in the previous video here in the this video what i have done is i have installed a npm call node mon which is uh, like a useful npm when you wanted to make the change uh, in the API file and you don't want to do node app just multiple times. So earlier what we need to do uh, used to do is like whenever we change the file uh, we were updating the node, node app.js again and again. And this will uh, do watch this files so here you can see like this is the files it is going to watch and uh, that way like we don't have to do uh, node app just multiple times. Uh, you, here you can uh, install uh, this via like this command npm install minus the nodmon which will like globally install this Nord, nodmon module so that way you can have like your time saved i have already installed that uh, module so now you can see like it's running fine so okay so our API server is started running and here uh, in the code what I am going to do is I am going to put a uh, I am going to put uh, the same syntax which we are using uh, so we are going to have request and response and then we are going to have this so here uh, we are going to have two things one is id from the uh, API URL itself so we are going to say like request.params.id and we are going to also have student from our body so now first thing what we are going to check is like if this particular ID is there in this uh, our code or not and if, we, if it is there then we will get the current student so what I am going to do is uh, I am going to write student uh, dot filter. Then what I am going to do is uh, I am going to write student id equal equal to student id, and then I am going to get the first element. So what I am going to do now is uh, basically I'll check like if current uh, student is there. If not, uh, then what we are going to do is we are going to write a status me message that student does not exist, and then we are going to send status as four zero four. And if if the student is exist, then what I am going to do is first I am going to check uh, whatever we are getting from the body API is valid or not and that therefore that we are going to use the same function which we used in the previous api so that is the validate student so this is the function where it checks every fields of the student object and it, if, if there is some problem then it will return the uh, uh, message as a string yeah, otherwise it it won't uh, receive uh, like it, it it will be send the empty string so we are going to write something like this and in the else part what we are going to do is we are going to copy this and instead of this we are going to write 
the message whatever written from the validate student and here what i am going to do is uh, if the, everything is good then i am going to replace the field like this and uh, then we are going to send status so we are going to say status 200 and then we are going to send the students now here you can see like there is no error so let's directly jump into the postman postman if you don't know postman postman is a request generator tool and we are going to use in this video so here you can see i have put it um, uh, like the put keyword here from this link of keyword and then we are going to uh, have replaced the first student with the id1 which is like a this student so here you can see like it is currently having value call gel page what gamma and the mail and here in this api what i have done is i have put it like values like teet what gamma okay so now let's run this and see what is going to happen so here you can see like it is returning the status okay and here you can see like it is being replaced so like this is working correctly and uh, let me again uh, explain this whole thing so you will get a better idea so what i have done is like i am going to get a student id and the student which we are going to displace uh, from the body and this will be from param then what i have done is like i am getting the current student and if current student is there then i am getting uh, validating the student which we are getting from the uh, body and if the validate is uh, validate student is returning perfectly uh, that means the empty string then we are going to replace those fields and again send the uh, 200 status otherwise it will send the message about the validations and if the current student is not there then like we are going to get this message now let's try that uh, current student is not there so if you see now uh, we have two students there one and two so if i put three here and also three here now let's run this so here you can see like uh, it is saying like student does not exist so that is also working fine so that's it guys uh, hope you like this video and if you like this video then please do subscribe to my channel code with jerry because it gives me uh, motivation to create more videos like this and see you in the uh, next video of this series Thank you for watching this video.